An increasing number of Canadians are having trouble renting homes, and in a recent survey, indicates that the recent situation is only getting worse. According to the survey, consumers were required to pay $2,149 in rent on average in September 2023. When compared to the cost from a year ago, there has been a huge increase of about 11%. Let's investigate more. The information we previously provided is the outcome of a careful examination of a substantial number of new rental listings from throughout Canada, carried out by Rentals.ca and a real estate consulting and research company called Urbanation. Consider that you wish to rent a home in Canada. That residence would cost you $2,149 a month on average. This sum of money is significant. It exceeds the average monthly rent from a year ago. A significant increase in price of more than 11% has occurred. We must examine a few crucial elements in order to comprehend why this is taking place. In Canada, there is a significant demand for rental properties. The demand for housing is growing, which raises the cost of living. Prices typically increase when there are insufficient supplies of something that many people want. The expense of developing and maintaining rental homes is another factor contributing to the increase in rental rates. Repairs, taxes and other costs are borne by landlords and property owners. The tenants of these residencies are frequently responsible for covering these fees. In other words, if it costs more money for the landlord, it might cost more money for the tenant. The housing market has been impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic. The fact that many people have relocated or are searching for larger homes may be contributing to the price increase. Additionally, as more people choose to work from home, the location of rental property has gained significance. Homes in upscale neighbourhoods often cost more. The government is aware of the problem and has taken some action to assist, such as passing rent control legislation. These regulations may place a cap on the annual rent increase that a landlord may make. But despite these regulations, prices continue to rise. It can be very challenging for those who are suffering with rising rent prices. They are spending more of their income on rent, leaving less available for other essentials like food, transportation and future savings. Some people might even need to think about relocating to less popular and typically more affordable places. According to the study from September, it is obvious that rents are not only rising, but are also rising more quickly than they have during the year. This indicates that rent is rising fairly quickly as a result. It's crucial to realise that this trend does not necessarily hold true everywhere. From one place to another, it differs. Renting a home is generally getting more expensive all around the nation. As a result, rent is generally more expensive for people to pay. But keep in mind that not every town or city experiences the same circumstances. There may be significant increases in rent in some areas, but not in others. As a result, even while rents are going up, different things may be happening in various places. Everything is dependent on the regional housing market and the unique features of each location. Toronto has a reputation for having a high cost of housing. Consider that you wish to rent a tiny apartment in Toronto with only one bedroom. Your monthly rent will be around $2,614. What a large sum of money! The good news is, is that these rent prices have been rising at a slower rate recently. Prices were a little bit higher in August than they are now, and they have only decreased by 0.2%. Therefore, it is not increasing in price as quickly as it once did. But if we go back a year, we can find that Toronto's rent has increased by 4.9%. This indicates that, on average, renting a place in Toronto is more expensive this year than it was last. Now, why is this taking place? Well, that's a straightforward explanation for the slowdown in Toronto rent places. To save money, more and more people are choosing to share a home with a roommate. Let's say you and a friend decide to rent an apartment together in Toronto. Rent and other living expenses are shared. Because you are paying for everything separately, it will be less expensive for you all. It's similar to how sharing a pizza with a friend saves money compared to buying a complete pizza for yourself. In Toronto, the demand for single apartments has therefore slightly declined as more people choose to live with roommates and split the costs. The price of one-bedroom flats doesn't rise as quickly when fewer individuals are looking to rent them. Simply put, it resembles a seesaw. The cost rises as demand for one-bedroom flats increases, but the cost doesn't rise as quickly when more individuals choose to share and live with roommates. This is encouraging news for individuals looking to rent a home in Toronto, especially if you don't mind having a roommate. It may lower the cost of living in the city a little. It is still expensive to rent in this city, so you must manage your finances carefully. Similar to a roller coaster, Toronto's rental market has ups and downs. Sometimes it costs a little less, other times it costs a little more. However, it is currently on a slight decline, which is good news for anybody looking for housing in this busy Canadian metropolis. With a 27% increase in listings compared to the previous year, there has been a considerable growth in the number of persons looking for a shared household in Canada. This pattern is most pronounced in Ontario, where postings for shared housing have increased by an astounding 78%. Why is this taking place? Well, cost seems to be the biggest factor. Because shared living arrangements are a little easier on the wallet, more people are choosing them. For instance, a typical roommate in Toronto now pays more than $1,300 each month. That's a significant amount, and it's encouraging people to look to alternatives to costly custom rentals. Currently, you might believe that shared housing offers a cost-effective alternative to expensive rent. 
It's not a significant escape though. In Canada, the average monthly cost of a shared apartment is roughly $944. Even if it is less expensive than other alternative solutions, there has been a considerable 100% increase since last year. Therefore, while living in a shared space may enable you to save money, it's hardly the best deal ever. Vancouver on the west coast presents an even more difficult position. There are one-bedroom apartments available, but they cost close to $3,000 a month if you're seeking one. It's true what she just read. Even more eye-wateringly expensive is a two-bedroom with an average monthly cost of around $4,000. Both of these numbers have increased by 10% from the previous year. Vancouver continues to be a strong candidate for the title of the most expensive city in Canada. While Toronto and Vancouver are at the top of the list for expensive rent, other significant Canadian cities are quickly coming up. For instance, Calgary is not far behind. In Calgary, the typical asking price for a one-bedroom apartment has risen to $1,730, while the price for a two-bedroom is $2,181. Due to its strong economy and affordability, cities compared to Toronto and Vancouver, Calgary is seeing a rise in rent prices. Residents like Lindsay Tollefson find it challenging to keep up with the increased costs as a result of the considerable rent hikes that have resulted. Her rent climbed by 75% in less than a year, making it increasingly expensive. There has been a sizable influx of visitors looking for more affordable lodging due to Calgary's relatively affordable when it comes to other major cities in Canada. However, this migration has increased housing demand and costs on its own, adding to the challenge and affordability. The mismatch between housing supply and demand is a primary factor causing the current housing crisis. Rents are rising as a result of a combination of rising demand and a tight housing supply. This is true not only in Calgary but also of Nova Scotia, where the cost of an apartment has increased dramatically on average. Concerns about affordability in areas like Toronto and Vancouver are causing people to move from other parts of Canada to Calgary and Nova Scotia. The unintended result of this movement is an increase in pricing in these areas with a lower cost of living. In order to free up accommodation for long-term inhabitants, governments are seeking to address the problem of enacting controls on short-term rentals like Airbnb. However, due to the ongoing high demand for homes, these efforts can only go so far in resolving the situation. The major argument centres on the rising housing availability that is affecting places like Calgary and Nova Scotia as a result of rising demand, constrained supply and migratory patterns influenced by relative costs of living. For renters who are already having a hard time keeping up with fast rising rent, this situation presents major issues. What do you think about the real problem behind this rental crisis? Let us know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed our content, then do like, share, subscribe to our channel.